click subscribe for update video every day. In the wide world of headphones, it seldom pays to stand still for long. Phyoton has achieved real success with its popular MS series, especially the flagship MS400. But that didn't deter the company from throwing out the playbook entirely when it came to creating its latest addition to the series, the Bridge MS500, available at $300. Named after the bridge on a stringed instrument, the 500's wiry aluminum frame and U2018 bolts shaped earpieces stand out among even the most avant-garde competition, but with change comes risk. Would these newfangled cans bring that same Phyoton sound we've enjoyed in the past? We recently sat down with the MS500 to find out. Red is kind of Phyoton's thing, and the company didn't hesitate to remind us of that from the onset. Starting with the MS500's bright red and white box. Opening the box revealed a shiny black pouch with a velvety red lining. Inside the box we found the MS500 folded in on itself. Sporting heaps of black leather hugging angles of silver aluminum. All of which was accented in thin red lines. Also in the box were two cloth-lined removable cables. And a XBC inch adapter. At first glance, the MS500 appear to be sporting small silver antennae. The bent tubular arms that attach the earpieces to their frame pop out at the sides of the band. When adjusted, like stacks from a big rig, the headband itself is constructed of flat plates of aircraft-grade aluminum. A smooth sheath of dimpled leather surrounds the entire bow, stitched to the back with a crimson accent and sporting small puffs of ridged padding along its underbelly. At the base of the headband are hinged pieces from which the earpieces attach. Though the hinges fold inward, the earpieces butt heads at the interior of the band. Unable to fully collapse like other similar designs we've tested, the earpieces themselves are shaped into rounded triangles, with thin plates on their outer face that are reminiscent of giant guitar picks. Large foam pads encircle the earpieces' interiors, cloaked in soft, worn leather. At the mouth of each pad is a bright red screen, behind which sit the MS500's newly designed 40mm drivers. The ear pads rest forward at a slight angle, due to the aforementioned bend in the slim poles that attach them to the frame. At the base of each pole is, 